In the next few videos, I want to go back through and look for a second at descriptive statistics and how oftentimes we, we look at our data and say what's happened to us in the past. However, oftentimes when we're talking about what's happened to us in the past, what we're really discussing is what's happened based on a sample that we took. So let me start with this idea um, of the normal distribution and, and give you an idea uh, a little bit about the background on this. <clears throat> Let's take, for example, a situation where uh, we have a local coffee shop decide to run a promotion to increase uh, their coffee sales. And it's, cost, it's the sales per customer that we're trying to, to get with this promotion. In the past, the average has been $4.18 per customer with a standard deviation of about uh, 84 cents. Question that we're really looking at right now, after promotion, we need to determine if the sales went up. Let's take, for example, what happens if all of a sudden the very next customer that walks in had sales of $4.26? Our conclusion should probably be, if it's $4.26 now based on the next customer, it was $4.18 before, it went up, right? Well, <clears throat> yeah, it went up, but does it make sense that it went up? Does is there really a difference between $4.26 and this previous average of $4.18? Let's look at, let's go in real quick and let's, let's look at the normal distribution because the normal distribution tells us that, again, a normal distribution, oftentimes many of you refer to this as the bell curve, okay? In the center of the bell curve is the average, in this case, $4.18. It's symmetrical, which means the shape of the left is exactly the shape of the right. Also in this uh, bell-shaped curve, what we'll see is whenever it's normally distributed, we will have $4.18, like I said, in the center. If I go out one standard deviation, okay, if I take the mean, if I go one standard deviation to the left, I'm at this point. If I go one standard deviation to the the right, I'm at this point, which means that if I am looking at a sample, let me just let it, if I look at all of the sales that I have ever had before on coffee, that what I'm going to see is I'll have the average will be the thing that occurs most frequently. However, there will be times that I will sell less than $4.18. There will be times that I sell more than $4.18. Matter of fact, 50% of the time I'm going to sell less than $4.18. 50% of the time I'm going to sell more than $4.18. If I go out one standard deviation each way, you can see there's 34% of all occurrences occur between $4.18 and $4.18 minus 84. Um, which is going to be somewhere around uh, $3.34. Okay, so 34% occur between the average and one standard deviation before, below. 34% occurs between uh, the average and one standard deviation above. Let me give you a couple of numbers so that you can see it for sure. If I am looking at on any given day, based on my average being 4.18 and my standard deviation of 84, what is the chance that the sale that comes in, okay, is above $5.02? What is the chance, so this tail here, that the next sale that comes in is above $5.02? Well, $5.02 is exactly one standard deviation above the mean. Okay, so this is one standard deviation above the mean. The chance that the sale is going to be more than $5.02 is 13.59 plus 2.14 plus 0.13. There's a 16% chance almost that just based on regular anybody walking in off the street that the next person is going to come in with a 5.02 um, value uh, if my uh, average is 4.8 and my standard deviation is 0.84.
back to the main point. The main point is, in the past, my average is 4.18. However, everybody that walks in is not buying 4.18. Correct? 50% are buying less than 4.18. 50% are buying more than 4.18. If I go out one standard deviation, 16% of the population, 16% of all of my sales is going to be above 5.02. Go ahead and add more values in the bottom. You can see that 2.14 and 0.13, 2.27 is going to actually be above um, $5.86. One more standard deviation up. 0.13% is going to be above $6.70. Similar over here to the, to on the left. There's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood, all right, of 16% that are going to buy less than $3.34. So when we are looking at data where we think we know what has happened in the past, both by having the average and a standard deviation, if we go in and take samples, it's very possible that the, the uh, conclusion we can come up with is based on the randomness associated with the distribution of our data instead of actually of what's happened. Well, hold on that idea for right now. Just think about it from a normal distribution standpoint. 50% occur below the the average, 50% occur above it, and just due to regular randomness of the people that are coming in to be sampled next, we could end up falling anywhere into this area. Okay? Hold on to that idea.